last weekend of the year and this morning we're taking a look back at some of the high points of 2012 here in Central Texas and Austin made some big strides when it comes to the arts and here to talk about some of those breakthroughs is Robert Ferris with the Austin Chronicle. Thank you so much for being here this it's morning. It's my pleasure. And you've provided us with a list, a top five list basically, so I'm just going to go down the list here and, and you can give me uh, give me the uh, the dirt on each one. So sure. we're going to kick it off with uh, Zach's new top for theater. Why is this such a big deal that, that it opened? Well, uh it's been a huge thing that Zach has been dreaming of for years. They started working towards this 15 years ago. And so this is the realization of a long time dream for that theater. It's also a mid-sized theater. Most of the theaters uh, you see in Austin are between 75 and 200 seats. Zach's largest theater was only 230 seats. To have a 430 seat theater puts Austin's theater community a little closer to Broadway. And Zach was able to build a theater that has Broadway style dimensions. They can actually take a show from here to Broadway, and it's a lot closer to, it's the first time Austin's really had that much of a connection to the national theater scene. Mm -hmm. And it's right there on South Lamar. Right you there can't miss on it. Lady Bird Lake. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. It's a beautiful location. It's greatly situated, and it forms a campus with the two theaters that they already have. Mm -hmm. All right, moving along. Austin ISD launched their Any Given Child initiative. Of course, this is kind of an education and arts combination here. Tell me about that. Well, there's this group called Mind Pop, which is the first time that the Austin arts education community has had a chance to really come together. It's comprehensive. All of the stakeholders are involved. Uh, AISD, city government, uh, all the arts education groups that help students uh, all across the community. They've all come together and they have managed to link up with the Kennedy Center's Any Given Child Initiative, which helps, uh, Austin is only the seventh city in the country which has been identified to help uh, figure out how to give students arts equity, access for students all across the community. Uh, one of the great things about the Any Given Child Initiative in Austin is that there's been a million dollar donation made uh, so that for the next four or five years, students across the community will have, uh, or teachers will have access to a creative classroom fund where they can help bring students closer to the arts, involve the arts in students' lives for, uh, to give them an arts rich education. Got it. Okay, we're moving right along here. Next, the Paramount Theater hosted the Moon Tower Comedy and Oddity Fest and will again next April. Quickly yes. tell me why that is so awesome. Well, we know about all the great music festivals in town. Uh, ACL and uh, South by Southwest, Fun 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 Fest. This is the first time that Austin has had a chance to go beyond the music community. We had comedy guests, uh, national names, Aziz Ansari, Stephen Wright, Nick Offerman, uh, Wanda Sykes, great names. It was four days in which there were more than a hundred uh, comedy acts crammed into 11 different spaces around town. It was really exciting. It was a huge success, so they're ready to do it again. It means that Austin becomes a destination for comedy and the arts as well as for music. All right, Robert Ferris, we've run out of time, but uh, we're going to put the links to these on our website, including one more that we didn't get to, which is the Waller Creek Design Competition, yes. which you guys believe was a, a major breakthrough this year. So thank you so much for being with us. We'll have all this information on our website. We're going to